everyone. Alright, Inska here. Today I'd like to talk about Kolovo's post hotfix build and why you should be building it. Now, because Kolovo has had the hotfix, um, his recompense ability, so he's two, it now scales with power strength, which means you can now invest a lot more power strength, which works well with his overall kit. Going into the build very briefly, you'll notice that I have invested in quite a few set mods. The first of them being a Mars uh, set mod, which is to teleport to a target within 30 meters on using a heavy attack. This gives Kolovo a huge amount of survivability as well as maneuverability because you can't be damaged while actually teleporting. Secondly, we have the Carnus Carapace set, not the Carnus set. Killing an enemy with a heavy attack grants 30% evasion and immunity to status effects for 6 seconds. Now I can hear you saying, oh well, uh, immunity to status effects for 6 seconds, well it doesn't really matter because Overguard has the mechanic of not allowing status effects on the player, and that's fine, but a 30% evasion is good for keeping his overguard up and constantly surrounding him so he has a little bit more survivability other than that i invested a lot more into power strength in fact as much as i could get including growing power and malt augmented and blind rage but everything else is fairly standard with stretch and equilibrium helping his support and coating enemies in his three with range uh, the weapons of choice I elected were the Epitaph as a utility weapon. This weapon is not designed to kill absolutely anything, though I did make a bit of a joke build and just invest in a lot of fire rate because why not? Other than that, I elected a uh, Karna Stinger on here because uh, as a set you need a pistol and secondary dexterity to maintain. Uh, combo duration because that's valuable to have on Kalevo. And finally, I elected to use the Fang Prime because honestly, it's just what I had. I do have the Neferi, but honestly, I wanted to use the. I wanted to give the Fang Prime that was just sitting in my inventory some use. And you'll see that I have the rest of the Amar set here, the rest of the Kana set here, uh, Focus Energy. Which is a weird one, but 40% heavy attack efficiency makes this build great, including electricity. You know, I won't say no to additional crowd control. Um, I only elected to bump up the base slash damage, or at least as much as I could without sacrificing too much damage and you know, utility. And apart from that, I have Organ Shatter and Gladiator Might to increase my critical damage up to 6.4. I will say you do not build for critical oh, critical chance because Colovo's first ability, which is Wrathful Advance, already gives him 516% melee crit chance and you do not need to build that on your weapon. So that gives you a lot of options for other builds or oh, primarily crit damage or status based uh, builds and his and now because of his two working all you have to do is get yourself amongst the enemies use his second ability get yourself maximum overguard cap which is now scaling with power strength which is 25,800 on this build which is really nice for survivability and use his third ability which pretty much just clears out clusters of enemies. Now, I subsumed Nourish over his 4 because if we're going to be utilizing Overguard so much, I may as well use a energy regeneration technique by using Equilibrium, Nourish, and his companion, which is my Pharaoh Predacite, and using the Synth Deconstruct, Synth Fiber technique, where health orbs... Now, uh, Synth Fiber gives me full health orb pickup availability, because 
previously you would just have to lose you would have to lose health to be able to pick up health orbs but now that health orbs now increase the armor for companions it gives me the ability to always pick them up if i can always pick up health orbs without taking damage i can now constantly have equilibrium go off which gives me health and energy not necessarily health because it's like why would i need more health when i already have full health and have recompense heart for the 25,000 overguard instead this gives me a lot of energy and then using nourish i'm able to get a bonus of 3.5 uh 3.58 multiplier of energy so 125 energy becomes a whole lot more which is very nice for the energy economy because his efficiency is down at 45. I didn't see it as uh, valuable to have anymore because if I'm going to multicasting, I may as well be able to cast all the time. Now for the Arcanes, I elected for Arcane Strike and Molt Augmented. However, you can choose Steadfast if you wanted to because then it gives you even more energy economy because um, on ability cast, 20% chance... The next three abilities will not cost energy. That's always good if you're going to be constantly casting, which you will with this build. The focus tree is Naramon. Fairly self-explanatory with Power Strike, melee combo counter now decays every five seconds instead of completely wiping out. And this is the build. I will now show you how to use it. Now with full health and full energy, I like to use the third ability, get as many enemies chained together, um, equipping melee, and then using the Amar set, I'm able to teleport at enemies and use a heavy attack at the same time. But if you use his first ability and then a heavy attack straight after, it does a lot more damage. So that's a heavy attack and your first ability at the same time or one after the other, whichever you choose because they both teleport and they both deal a heavy attack. Hmm, target obstructed, okay. Oh, that's, that's bizarre. Anyway, um, and if you find yourself in a pickle and you need Overguard, you just hit your second ability, running at enemies, and they'll take additional bleed procs. Now this is a, this is a bleed build, so this has it. This definitely has a place in the current meta of the game where you can deal with pretty much anything as long as it's got health. And the last component of this build is the nourish piece because who doesn't love viral on pretty much everything? And if you've built the your any any daggers for high bleed procs, you can use collective curse and then nourish, and then teleport enemies with a huge amount of critical chance, and just <laughs> watch enemies melt. And now you've got three potential status effects: slash, uh, viral, and electricity because of the focus energy. Mod. Overall, I think this is going to work very well as long as DE don't decide to mess around with his kit anymore. If they do, then I'll have to make another follow up video, and I don't particularly feel like doing that at this current point in time. Anywho, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next time. Next one. Goodbye.